How are you getting on? Good. Apparently, I have an active footprint. Don't tell me around one that's going past my footprint is active. I'm not going to do that. People don't see that side of things, no, you know. They don't see this side of things. You have to go for the Japanese high performance imports. Hello, how are you getting on? What is the crack? It's about two weeks now after after Jack fished. We took a little bit of a break. How are you getting on? Good. Scrubbing. Doing a bit of scrubbing. Do a bit of a do a bit of damage assessment after uh, Jack fished. See see what we have to fix for Watergrass Hill, but not looking too bad. How's the farm? Good. So, and it all done, but back to the back bumper. So uh, you're not used to doing the full back bumper, you see, that's the problem. Yeah. So, if if you haven't watched um, our last video from Jackfish, go back and have a look, because it was a busy weekend, um, but it was a great crack. And yeah, all, all the shenanigans, everything that happened is in the last video, so give that a watch. As I said, a bit of damage assessment here today. See what the buzz is after uh, after Jeff fished, um, because of Alan's little adventure into the middle of the track. So. You've changed bits in the front anyway, a bit of steer, didn't it? Yeah. Whip so. off the front wheel, so. If you you have the bits we need to replace anyway. Bear one. Bear that other white fab bit. Um, spanner check the fucking the whole thing. Yeah, oh, I have to do the roll bear as well. Yeah. That's, that's what we reckon was the cause of. Yeah, that's my drive racing driver's excuse. Okay. Yeah. There's an incident. What's happened with uh, Max? Nothing, just an incident on the race. I was being political and, and or not political, what's the word? Uh, diplomatic, that's the word I'm looking for, yeah. I think that's the nicest colour set on the, for the wheels as well. Can't be a replica. No, hair bit. Anyway. Yeah, after Rob Benz was bracket. So this one here, yeah. we've lost one bolt of it, not too bad. Yes. But this one here, we've lashed the lot. Yeah, she's gone afterwards. So I've just steal one off Connor for the time being. How are you getting on? Good. I'm taking over your job now since you have the camera, you see. Yeah, there's shared responsibilities. People don't see that side of things, no, you know. They don't see this side of things. No crack? No, not a bit now in yourself. No. How's Wally? Wally, if anyone. Is everything about buying a camper or a caravan or anything? Do Yeah. Great job. Some crack. Ireland is a savage little country when you get out and see it. Anyway, what are we doing with the ice fabs? Um, I have to change this bushing. So I might as well oh, do Oh, that's custom. well goosed. Yeah, it's fair loose. You can't really feel much playing it now, but when it's all bolted together, you have a bit of weight behind you. I feel it. Let's do the one. What do you make of uh, Formula Drift at the weekend? Hmm, I don't know. I think it was a win for Driftmasters anyway, and their I think so. whole setup, like, you know. What did you think of it? Formula D? Yeah. Uh, don't know. Yeah, it's hard to know yeah. how to feel about it, really. Not much buzz like it, and then kind of takes the buzz over when there's all protests. And well, not even protests, just, you know. Bitching. Yeah, bitching. <laughs> There was a whole reformat of the way FD works and all that crack. And you know, I I thought it'd do it good, but it seems to have seems to have backfired a little on them. I think. Yeah, straightening up for two. And it's a pity because you know it's the whole qualifying thing was enough to get around, and then all the 
other nuances that go with it. It's Drift Master is qualifying is good though. Drift Master's yeah. setup is good, yeah. It just adds a bit of spice. It's, it's, not, it's not killing the traditional qualifying, but it's kind of giving it another yeah. splash. Get you buzzed up for the next day, didn't it? Yeah. What did you think of the layout in Spain? In all... I didn't really like it. You didn't like it? No. I thought it was savage. It was cool, like, it was a bit of crap. But you could see for battles, it doesn't really work for close battles. It's just yeah. too fast. That's it. It was a, it was a commitment track, I'd say, more so yeah. than anything. And, and you did say it, whoever got the car set up right. Yeah, it'd be on it. Like, it they'd be on it, you know. It didn't sound like they got much practice, so. No. They did well to master a new track like that. Yeah. Would they be back, do you think? I don't know, but if they are, I'd be definitely going. Yeah, it'd look like, like some, some crack. crack. Like a, a lad's holiday, wouldn't it? Oh, big grand holiday. Mm. You wouldn't know. We could venture to Poland yet. Good, good. I'd be up for it. Yeah. That's the mechanical bits and bobs done, is it, Alan? You reckon for the evening? Yeah, it's waiting on parts now. Yeah. What are we going to do? So we're going to do a bit of like, uh, what do you call it? Advertising. A bit of upcycling. Upcycling, yeah. Yeah. We are and well. environmentally aware here at Candy Culture. Just, you know, don't mind tire smoke in the race. <laughs> no. Don't mind that. No mind that. The cutting is done. Look down to the spray boot. Well, oh. how are you getting on? Good. Lovely weather. Looks like it? rain, Ted. Looks like rain, Ted. One like this half an hour ago. Oh. Poisonous. Run away. The fire pit is quenched, Alan. <laughs> Just leave that there. It'll do the finest. I might give it a shot of primer first. Ooh, fancy. I have. Four or five cans out there from last year and make takes the black as well. So, yes. This is the checkover after Jap Fest. So so the reason we're doing the checkover is twenty-fifth and twenty-sixth of May is round two of the IDC and it is in Watergrass Hill. And we all pretty much know Watergrass Hill now at this stage, but this year they're going with a brand new layout, a new section. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a new experience for everyone. Um it'll be a big equalizer for some lower power cars. <sighs> right, I want to say something. And it's not often I'm left speechless or dumbfounded or have no answer. But I have been given one of the coolest gifts I've ever got. All the team got together, Alan, Connor, Francie, Mike, Adrienne, along with our channel partner, Rise Tattoo, Tony Flaherty, and have got me this. So this is a little reason why this vlog is, it's kind of all over the shop, is because of this thing. The entire bunch of legends got me a new camera. It is a Sony A6400, it has a lens, it has the mic, it's a little zoom in and out. But I just want to say a massive thanks to the to absolutely everyone that came together to push the channel, be able to give our viewers something of better quality. I'm speechless, I genuinely, I have no words for this. Like, all I can say is thanks to the entire team. Thanks so much for trusting me, for believing in me, I just can't wait to get this up and running um, and get shooting with it. This is just another, this is the next level of chancing it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm speechless, totally speechless. Again, thanks to the team, thanks to Tony, and thanks to all our continued partners. Without all our partners, our family, our friends, everyone who supports us, everyone who tunes in for all the vlogs or anyone that keeps an eye on our, our socials, that interacts with us. It means the world because we're just a group of friends that are chancing it. We haven't a clue what we're at. The, the driving side of things, yeah, they've that nailed, that's that's good. This whole metaverse of content creation and everything and anything like that, the film, it is still in the works. Just with the championship coming up and it's so fast, getting all the cars ready, it has been a little bit delayed, but I'm going to try and get something off Francie that we can put in here and give you an idea of what's to come. 
I think I'm going to go and have a little cry for myself. Chat to you soon. And then we went on to, to round three in Watergrass Hill. And I love driving Watergrass Hill, like I always go, go well there. It was the jump layout, which is always an exciting one. You don't know what's going to happen, what the conditions are going to be like, but we're very lucky. Got good weather. Alan was really on form in practice. Qualified within the top 16, so he was nicely set up for battles. He was going to be the lead car for all his battles. There was only two battles that really stands out, and that was Christine and Alan in the 34 playoffs, and the battle before that with Chris Brady. Chris Brady got the win, but say Alan went to third and fourth, and so we were only delighted that he had a chance of a podium. Like, could not call it, so we were at the podium as dumbfounded as everyone else around the place, not knowing. I, I just can't recall the emotions. Like, we were in with a shot of a podium, like. We, this was our wildest dreams. We never thought we were going to get this far. Like, even the thought of it was bananas. But to actually be doing it and be there in the heat with all your mates in Watergrass Hill, can't top it. The highest podium I had before was second place in an IADC championship in Mandela. That's the memory that actually popped up on my phone today and it was seven years ago today. That was the, the first IDC podium I'd got. The one then in Watergrass Hill was the first obviously I suppose in seven years as well. So it was seven years after getting the first bug at the first podium and I kept all that drive going up until the last one, until it happened again, which I honestly didn't think was that long in between, but it clearly was. Like I was fairly chill in the car all day. Like I was loving it and enjoying it. But every time I was going out in the car, coming back, you could see all the boys and everyone gone cracked. Like you come in then after the run and they're all congratulating you and buzzing and hyped up and firing the tires on the on the car and fuel out and rush 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 like go 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 and um, I'm just there like taking it all in just like a passenger enjoying it all and they send you out again to, to try and do the same same thing again and get the result um, so it's just some buzz just to see them getting probably more enjoyment out of it at the time than I am just because they're happy that you're doing well after all the trouble and late nights and money and failures and everything that's happened like it's just such a reward for everyone like it's one man in one car but there's a big team behind them and a lot of, lot of hope and dreams like well that diff is nice oh watch in well how are you getting on that's the crash of man how are you keeping it <laughs> just a good job of rats no it's on you no crack not a damn bit, boys, and yourselves. Not a bit, now. What are you at? Where are you at? I got some more shiny stuff. They're in a, a purple and yellow box, you're right. Powerflex? Yeah, correct. Nice. Subframe buttons. Getting rid of his, um, his active Apparently subframe. Apparently, I have an active subframe. subframe. Apparently. You're not telling me around one, I'm going past my subframe. It's active. It finds, active. It finds the grip itself. Yes. Are you going to help it at all? Put down that camera in your hand. Yeah. Right. Like you can read my mind. Are you the David Blaine? <laughs> I can walk on water. Most dynamo man. Most dynamo is actually, yeah. Yeah, get your fucking facts right. It's another fraud. It's a sham. And a fraud. Practice better. Are they spelled? Spelled, yeah. Take them out? Yeah. Okay. Mine my VCs. You just want to buy the meat. Keep going the way you're going. No, they make all the difference. Anyone from BC is watching, you know. They're the best. What? It's a reflect with sledge and down with it. No. Yeah. That's, that's ignorant. You gently caress it down. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Why? Do? You let it down there. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll make it jump. Show me what you're doing now. Show the digger. You're right. Wait, did you cut it out now and put the winters in it? Yeah. Oh my good god. The car came down there and knocked the fucking. Uh... Yes. No, it's on the wheels up. Yeah, but the car came down there and knocked the subframe. Do you have the axles in it in, in the, in, under the subframe? 
Ja, das ist super. Ja, das ist echt ein Stein, nicht mehr unter Nein, ja. Ja, ich Ich bin schon Ja. 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 Forward, yeah, go up. And see, when I, when I go up, it comes back and goes up with the shock, and then it slides forward. Stop it happens. Three. That's it? No. You got to protect me, Tony. Uh, yeah, one second, I'll dispose of the GoPro. Turn on, I think so. Hello. Your brake line is disconnected, no? Yep. Oh. Coming down. Should probably tilt forward, but right, okay. I've stopped. Should I keep coming? Yeah, yeah. we're out. Coming down slowly. Yeah, try and bounce, sir. Are we there? Sir. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. When the bulldog coming? Oh, it's out there in the other shed. If you used to get one, I'd call it a sheepdog. Pup. Oh. I get a pup. <laughs> I have a bulldog. Oh. <laughs> Easy now. Sweet, mate. I know, prying to. Flushes with sand. You need to take it out. Oh. That's sound. <laughs> You're okay. Yes, You're fine. Crock for effect. That was probably the best of the lot of them. Oh. Oh. That's the active one. Alan, Alan, have a go at that. Creaky. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's probably the active one, is it? Light them on fire. Oh, you have a sawzall. <laughs> that was up really rough, the saws all, don't I? Yeah, chainsaws. I left, you snuck the blade. Oh. What if I use the wood blade? Do you reckon we first the saws only go on release? And then I think now we're kind of like. Yeah, I, I just wanted to get the sledge out and go bait. I was skeptical until it came out. They're rough. They're rough too. That's the timber one, is it? Yeah. You cut the rubber easier. This one might be easier now because this bush is better, Nick. Uh, not really. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, stay going. I think you should go cutting again. Yes, definitely. Look at that, she even brings it up a little bit. Hold on, is that no band of space, sir? Job done. I'm going to show you. Lighting. Oh. God's bright. Well fucked. Papa fucked. And then you, can you see the air? Uh, oh, you can. Can you see the new? Oh, yeah. Fancy. Fancy, they'll make all the difference. Well, boys. What's the How story? How are you getting on? How are you getting on? But yeah. Three score paints. As usual. Spin, oh, yeah. spin, spin, no come out. Oh, come on, Yeah, baby. Right, Alan, your pipe won't come out. What's wrong with the standard Korean, Alan? You have to go for the Japanese high-performance imports. It's like when Sean and you were red in the face with that pipe on. Scandinavians. You 
you're busy. Very busy, you know. Busy like. No, full time at full time at this now, you know. Yeah, it's sick. Like it? Asher, it is an honest job, like. Yeah. It's all about the right place, the right time, you know. Another evening's work done. I had the tires changed in the trailer. Uh, Connor and Alan have the new uh, thermostat adapter in, so I should see better performance with the water temps. And I think we're going to call it a night, and we're probably going to call it off at this vlog. Um, the next time we will see will be on track in Watergrass Hill. 25th, 26th of May, next weekend, this weekend, whenever you're watching this, last weekend, Monograss Hill, IDC round two. See you there. Nearly.